Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at how to find the area of a parallelogram. So first of all, we need to know what is a parallelogram. And a parallelogram is a quadrilateral, which means it has four sides, and it also has opposite sides that are parallel, and that makes a parallelogram. So up here we have a parallelogram whose sides are eight and five. So we need to label this top it's also 8 because the opposite sides are parallel and congruent, and this opposite side is 5. Okay, to find the area, we have to take the base times the height. Now, you would automatically think, well, I just multiply 8 times 5 to get the area, but you don't. You need to know the actual height from base to base, so the distance from one base to the other base. So I'm going to draw in an altitude. Okay, so the height is actually an altitude that's drawn down to the base and you can draw it from one base to the other a couple different ways you can draw it down like this and just extend that base or you can draw it inside but it's going to form a right angle right here straight down with from base to base okay and I'm going to have to give that side I'm going to move this five over closer to where it's actually five and I'm going to call that height four okay now once I know the height is four I can use it into my in my formula area equals base times height where my base is 8 and my height is 4 not 5 so area is equal to 8 let me get a better pen here 8 times 4 which is 32 okay so that's how you find the area of a parallelogram. Okay, so let's take it a step further and look at one that's a little more involved. Okay, let's say you have a parallelogram and one side is 6, one side is 10, and so we can label this opposite side 6 and this opposite side 10, but this time we're given a right or an angle of 60 degrees. So when I drop my altitude down, so I can figure out the actual height for my formula because remember I need base and a height and the altitude is the height. I'm going to use 10 as my base but I'm going to have to work a little harder to find this altitude or this height. So I'm connecting one vertex straight down and notice I have a triangle over here. Okay, This triangle is a right triangle and it's a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So I can use my 30, 60, 90 uh, rules. Okay, the rules for a 30, 60, 90 are as follows. Okay, if you have the small leg, we're going to call the small leg x. The long leg is whatever that value is, x to the, times the square root of 3. And the hypotenuse is equal to 2x, or double the short leg. Okay, so let's look up here. Looking at this right triangle, I have the hypotenuse, which is equal to 2x. So 6 is equal to 2x, so x is equal to 3. So that means this portion of the base is equal to 3. And then I need to work to the altitude or the height. So I'm going to take that short leg times the square root of 3, 3 square root 3. And that is actually the altitude inside that parallelogram. Now I can use that for my height. Okay, so I'll plug it in here, 3 square root 3. And to multiply 10 times 3 square root 3, remember the rules, outside portion times outside portion. So 10 times 3 is 30, and there's no radical to multiply that with, so it's just the square root of 3. So 30 square root 3 is the answer, and area is always unit square, and that is your final answer. Hope this video was helpful.